Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Every so often, you may have the need to collaborate with others on a document in real time. That is, not creating a document on your desktop and then sharing the file with someone. I mean, actually opening up a web page and creating something together in a collaborative fashion. What you see in front of me is a service that will allow you and 15 other people to collaborate on a document. This is a document that I created dynamically without registering for the website. I sent that link out to the document, the dynamic document, the collaborative document, and uh, quite a few people came in. Unfortunately, the 16th person didn't get a chance to see the document until someone had left because, as I said, uh, it's me and 15 others. That's as much as the service can handle. And if it looks familiar, it's not Etherpad, even though it's based on Etherpad's open source code, which they released after they were acquired by Google, which had people worried because a lot of us liked Etherpad's service. Certainly the software, not necessarily the name. And given that uh, it would likely have disappeared at some point in time since they released the code in the open source realm right there in the Google repository, Jake Warner and I decided to put this service together on Type With Me. That's Type With M-E. Type With dot M-E. Get it? Type With Me. All right, so what we have here is a set of Twitter tips. That's the document that I created dynamically by uh, entering into my address bar, typewith.me slash a document name. I sent that link out, and then we were collaborating. Now, if you hadn't noticed, there are different colors that show up in the text. That indicates which author is actually uh, you know, entering in that text, and some of it's white because we've cleared authorship uh, in some bit of the text because we've saved these revisions over time since, of course, the URL was open for anybody. Uh, we had trolls come in and tried to eliminate any type of collaborative process. It, uh, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> no matter how hard they try, we can always restore to an earlier revision. That's right. You can save as you go. So if I click the saved revisions, I can scroll back at any point in time and click restore. Let's see here. Let's go back to revision 85. Restore. OK because it says it's going to restore it for everybody, and there we go. It is restored. There's a little chat area down here, and of course it's, it's color-coded as well. Uh, we've got the list of users. You could rename yourself. There's no registration for the website. It's really easy to use. You could uh, do basic text markup, bold, italicize, underline, strike out. Uh, you can do uh, unordered lists. You can indent the text. You can choose to clear, uh, as I pointed out, uh, the, the colors here inside of uh, the uh, main editing area. You've got an undo and a redo button as well. I've got a text zoom, so if I wanted to zoom out, I could. If I want to zoom in, I could as well. Got a chat going on over there. I can go full window if I wanted to. And I've got other options too. Uh, I can choose to turn authorship colors on for everybody or turn them off. I can choose to turn on line numbers. Uh, I can have a monospaced font versus a variable width font. You can also import either a text file, HTML, Word, or RTF. Export the current document as HTML, plain text, Word, PDF, or open document. Then, what's even more interesting is the time slider feature. So, say I wanted a, a visual representation of how the document looked over time. Well, now you can just click that link and then drag this little nub back and forth. And then I'm seeing the specific version and the time that it was saved and the authors. So if I say, well, who's doing the typing at this point in time? It's showing me over here. And I can easily press play too. So if I click there and press play, it's a playback. It's all dynamically recorded. Kind of neat, huh? And if I wanted to, I could star a particular part of a document. Now, ideally, you would never send this document out to everybody. You would send it to people you wanted to collaborate with. So head over to typewith.me. You got that? Typewith.me. And click to create a new document. In a couple seconds' time, you'll be connected. You could rename yourself. I'm going to go ahead and do something kind of dangerous. I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to paste it into the chat room at live.perillo.com. And uh, with any luck, in a couple of seconds, we will see people actually showing up. Some of them may be trolls. But just imagine that the internet isn't full of trolls, or your friends 
themselves aren't trolls. Well, then you'd be building something together. No registration required. Point, click, free, easy. Typewith.me, based on Etherpad's open source code, we're essentially freezing it in time. And I must thank Jake Warner and uh, Nathan over at Atlas Networks for helping us get up and running. Love it if uh, you guys shared this particular URL with uh, your classmates, your coworkers, whoever you want to collaborate with. Type with Dot .me. I also registered typewithme.com, but I think it's much more fun and it's a shorter URL, URL typewith.me. See, people are keying things in right away. What's the point of this, someone asked. Well, it's collaboration. It's real time, and it's easy. Imagine taking notes of a class with 15 other people. Instead of you having to pay attention to every single detail, you could document the entire thing. Conferences, television shows, scripts collaboration in real time. My email address, chris at perillo.com. You can see that uh, we're still having fun over here restoring the document. Uh, it's kind of interesting to watch the trolls play along. It doesn't bother me really because we could always restore to uh, a, a, an earlier version. We've got the content. They can't get rid of it. <laughs> <clears throat> You know, you can find me on Twitter. That's how I tweeted the link out. Of course, you can't really tweet on Facebook, at least not easily. Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo or Twitter.com slash Chris Perillo. And I've also got a blog, Chris.Perillo.com. The community of tech enthusiasts, Geeks.Perillo.com. And uh, you know you could uh, find me streaming 24 hours a day, 7 days a week with a chat room, typically talking tech, at Live.Perillo.com. We'll see you later.